Hi, I'm Preeti. Hi, I'm Prashant. And together we go by the name Composing the Wild. We're a hobby photographer couple and we really love wildlife and black and white photography and we're based in Dubai. Nisha and Hermes have been encouraging us for a while now to share stories from our travels in the wild. And for today, we've decided to share stories from a trip we did seven years back to a completely unique and wondrous park that has made a big impression on us. And the park here is the Itosha National Park. Now the park itself is quite massive, about 22,000 square kilometer. And it is situated around a pan, the Itosha pan, which is 5,000 square kilometer. We think of Itosha as an arid paradise. Arid because it gets zero rainfall between May and October every single year. And paradise because of the sheer variety of animal and bird life that you can come across there. It has beautifully laid out roads, which means that self-driving is really easy. And because the park is so big, quite often you feel like you're the only one with many sightings, which means as a photographer, it's heaven. In this case, for instance, we could spend as much time as we wanted really with this beautiful pair of Nubian oryxes, till they almost seemed to pose for us, like for this shot. Another time, we were the only vehicle at an elephant sighting, when this old wise bull kept coming closer and closer to our vehicle, almost to check out who we were. At one point in time, he got so close that we had to drop our zoom lenses and jump to our wide angles instead. This particular shot was taken at 16mm. Now, if you Google Itosha, chances are you'll see the iconic white elephant shots. Elephants covered in white dust. Unfortunately, we didn't see one of those shots, but we saw something probably even better. On our last day, as we were leaving the park, this beautiful black rhino stood staring at us, covered in white dust. We hoped he would come out from behind the bushes so we could get a better shot of him, but we were glad that he at least stood there long enough for us to get a reasonably sharp photograph through the thorns. Now the white dust is so pervasive that no one is spared, not even the king. Such as here in this scene, this male lion has white coating on its paws and its back. Any park with its share of so many predators and its harsh environment is bound to see its fair share of death, such as this scene which greeted us on entering the park. What struck us here was this, this once beautiful creature, the tallest mammal on the planet, was dwarfed by this expansive and unwelcoming desert. As we sat there trying to frame the shot, we suddenly noticed there was movement in its belly. Closer inspection, we realized there were two jackals feeding on the carcass. A classic case of how in the wild, death fuels the circle of life. Talking of life, to see an abundance of life, all you need to do is go to one of Vitosha's numerable hides on a hot day. And scenes like this are fairly common across all of the hides this beautiful park has to offer. What's also fairly common is alarm calls and suddenly you'll find that all these animals clear away for scenes such as this, like when this lion pride took over the watering hole and all the other herbivores kept a safe distance but an eye always on the lions to see when they would leave the watering hole back to them. Now if driving out on a hot day to these watering holes is not your cup of tea, you can also get some spectacular wildlife sightings staying at the camp because all the camps are built around watering holes as well. We probably saw our most relaxed ever black rhino at the camp uh, and this guy came in one evening and drank water at peace and took probably 20 minutes just taking in the surroundings of that evening before walking away. And once he left came in this herd of elephants. We had great fun just watching them frolic, playing and bathing. And once they left came in another herd and then another and then another. And once the elephants left, came in other wildlife and we had a great time just shooting and photographing to our heart's content. Now if you feel that sleep is overrated in a place like this, you are right. Because if you stay up, you will see something like this as we were lucky to see, where this herd came in to drink some water at around midnight. I hope we've given you a fair flavour of what Itosha has to offer. and. Uh, we hope that once things clear up after COVID, more of you are uh, enthused to go back and see this place like we definitely want to. Thank you. Thank you very much.